In this video, I'm gonna give you six tips and six examples of how you can increase your overall revenue per visitor by optimizing your cart and checkouts. And this is a huge global problem that e-commerce stores find when they're actually trying to get more clicks to turn into customers. There's a huge issue with cart abandonments and I'm gonna show you in this video how you can overcome that and you can actually turn more of those clicks into cold hard cash. First and foremost, I'm gonna to explain to you the difference between a cart draw slider and a cart page. Now, I'm not going to break down which one you should be using. All I would recommend is that you A-B test both. Typically, a cart slider and draw is more intuitive. It's a better user experience, but that's not to say that a cart page won't work better for you. Effectively, what a cart slider or draw is, is exactly that. When you add the cart, it slides out from the stage side. It doesn't take up the whole page. On mobile, it would slide up and does take up the whole fold as opposed to a cart page, it's actually an external page. It's completely separate to your product page. You click add the cart and you get redirected to a completely dedicated page. What's more important is that you follow these six tips and implement them on either or depending on what you're using. Point number one, free shipping prompt. Okay, so you should be trying to increase your average order values. And the way you do that is by having a free shipping threshold. So you say, for example, we are going to offer free shipping on our store over $100. You then have a free shipping prompt, which is in your cart, that actually tells people how far away they are from that total of $100 to unlock the free shipping. Make sure you gamify it, make sure you make that progress bar move dynamically as you add more into your cart. Choose a bright color that stands out and make sure, as I say, you have a clear zero to $100 with a progress bar that gets people excited to add more into their cart and therefore qualify for that free shipping. As a little added bonus tip, you could actually take it one step farther by having various different things on that progress bar for example free shipping first then you could unlock a free gift then you could unlock something even more the more you add to your cart point number two is social proof and a lot of people don't do this within their carts and this is something that can be easily done and easily increases your revenue per session how do you do this well take a review and quite simply put it within that cart. Make sure you have quotation marks around it, bold some of the key phrases, have a real picture of the real person, use the first and last name, and even better, if you actually have a friction point because you've surveyed your customers and they, they actually mention something about the checkout or cart experience that they don't like, answer that friction point with a positive review about it inside the cart. For example, let's say, someone is, is questioning the shipping times, I got this shipped really, really quickly. You can just handle objections within that social proof. Another way of doing this is actually pulling in the product reviews themselves and having those gold stars showcase in the cart as well. Moving on to in-cart upsells and cross-sells. This works particularly well with things like fashion brands, apparel, clothing, jewelry, where you can actually just subtly and in a convenient way suggest cross sales within your cart. This is going to help boost point number one. When you have that free shipping prompt, if you're adding in-cart upsells, they're more than likely because it's convenient for them to add the cart to then hit that free shipping, push that button. This is something I recommend you A-B test. It doesn't always work. That's important to say. You want to keep an eye on your revenue per visitor or revenue per session. Do not focus on your conversion rate. Do not focus on your average order value because sometimes these metrics can give you skewed data and in-cart cross-sales and upsells can actually affect both. So what you want to do is track your overall revenue per visitor and if it increases, keep those in-cart upsells inside your cart. Number four is adding trust and credibility. Wherever you have a call to action, within your cart or checkouts, make sure that you add those payment seals underneath the button. What are those seals? Well, they are the merchant's processes that you accept. For example, if you accept PayPal payments, if you accept Amex, MasterCard and Visa, just put their logos just below your payment buttons and it's going to help tick the box of trust and credibility. 
Why you say? Well, because if I'm a cold consumer and I come to your store and I see that those brands are entrusting in you for you to accept payments via their gateways, I'm more than likely to trust you as a result. You're basically leveraging those brands authority as your own. Another one is adding something like a safe and secure logo or SSL certificate logo within your carts or buy your payment buttons to further establish trust and credibility. Moving on to number five, consistent call to actions. This is a big one, guys. If your product pages have bright blue buttons with a particular font and a pointing chevron, use the same exact style across your whole checkout funnel. You can do this easily by going into Shopify and changing in the language settings. But what you want to do is just keep it consistent. Use the same colored buttons, same fonts, same pointing chevrons or directional cues, same terminology. And if you can, especially on mobile, try and keep the same position of the button throughout the whole checkout process. All this does is adds consistency from start to finish. It doesn't make people question if they're on a separate site. Can they trust this checkout because colored buttons are different? fonts are different it just really really enhances that usability and experience throughout the whole funnel and number six usability let's keep everyone knowing exactly where they are on the pre-purchase funnel have steps that clearly articulate that you are currently on the checkout but you now need to go to shipping you are currently on the cart page but you now need to go to checkout shipping payment stipulate how many steps there are visually show people what step they on and then they won't have many match questions they won't have guesswork and they won't be thinking how many more steps do i have to take to get this product and to go and check out there's those quick tips if you want some more cro quick tips and head on over to our youtube channel we've got hundreds of videos to help you increase your conversion rates and revenue per session and if you want my team to do that exact job for you we've been doing this for over a decade get in touch with us at conversionwise.com and i'll see you on the next video